The refrigeration cycle comprises of following components, the refrigerant, the compressor, the condenser, the evaporator, the expansion device. The refrigeration plant can be further divided into two sections, high pressure side, low pressure side. The high pressure side consists of compressor discharge, condenser and inlet of expansion valve. The low pressure side comprises of discharge of expansion valve, evaporator and compressor suction. The refrigerant starts as a gas and is compressed in the compressor, which increases its temperature and pressure dramatically. Therefore, the condenser cools the hot, high-pressure refrigerant, and this way the refrigerant turns into a liquid. The expansion valve acts as a regulator which separates the high-pressure and low-pressure side. Its throttling effect dictates the compressor delivery pressure, which must be significant to give the refrigerant a saturation temperature, which is higher than the temperature of the cooling medium. The pressure drop through the regulator causes the saturation temperature of the refrigerant to fall, so that it will boil at the low temperature of the evaporator. Next, the evaporator boils the refrigerant back to a gas at a very low temperature. The change from liquid to gas absorbs the heat from the evaporator, which in turn removes the heat from the insulated refrigeration box, thereby lowering its temperature. Hereafter, the refrigerant is returned back to the compressor and the refrigeration cycle starts again. The reverse car cycle works on ideal conditions. In practical, there are always energy losses in any of the process which involves work. Most of the differences between the ideal and the actual cycles are because of the irreversibility in various components, which are In practice, the refrigerant enters the compressor at state 1, slightly superheated vapor, instead of saturated vapor in the ideal cycle. The suction line, the line connecting the evaporator to the compressor, is very long. Thus, pressure drops and heat transfer to the surroundings can be significant. Process 6-1 the compressor is not internally reversible in practice, which increase entropy. However, using a multi-stage compressor with intercooler or cooling the refrigerant during the compression process will result in lower entropy. In reality, the refrigerant leaves condenser as subcooled liquid. The subcooling process is shown by 3-4. Subcooling increases the cooling capacity and will prevent entering any vapor bubbles to the expansion valve. Heat rejection and addition in the condenser and evaporator do not occur in constant pressure and temperature as a result of pressure drop in the refrigerant. If you have any questions or suggestions, please drop your comments below and we'll get back to you at the earliest. If you like this video, please subscribe to the Marine Insight channel and press the bell icon to get notified when we post such amazing videos. Please like, comment and share this video and do not forget to subscribe to our channel.